Okay, we're gonna pressure wash the rest of this driveway here. Ace Window and Pressure Washing LLC. It's Steve. I've been at this for over 20 years. And I'm also a founder of TrustJesusAlone.com. Get on there and click on the link. And like, share, and subscribe to this video because I spread the word and I also tell people how to improve uh, their work ethics and how to, how to just make money by pressure washing and washing windows and doing odd jobs. So what I'm gonna do is document how I clean driveways without bleach and then I uh, like to spray bleach after. But I'm gonna make this video and show you how I do kind of a swirling motion to avoid streaking just by going all the way up and all the way down and then leaving streak marks. But either way, at the end, you can uh, bleach it out a little bit uh, with a handheld sprayer, that's what I do. But I'm gonna just document how I actually am going to uh, clean this driveway. Okay. I go up like this, make a circular motion, and then I'll go another direction, left to right, to avoid streaking. Go in circles. Get the edge real good. Go down and get this edge. Ways. Now, I start coming back left to right, slow enough not to leave any marks. Now I'll go front to back, change it up so they're not leaving any lines. Now I'll go left to right. Now you can go up and back. Switch it up each time. You can just go circular like this too. Circular. Come up, make a circle, come back. Go up, halfway. You never uh, do I just go all the way up and all the way down like this. All the way up the driveway all the way down the driveway. Because I don't want to leave a mark in the middle at the end. You can do it like that. There's more than one way to skin a cat. You can do a job many different ways. But this is how I do it. More circular, different patterns to avoid streaks at the end. Because I will not Bleach this whole driveway at the end. Yeah, I will not bleach this whole driveway at the end because I'm going in different patterns, going slow enough to keep to keep it clean to where only some serious stains am I gonna spray bleach on at the end. So that's my trick. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, switch to the gun and rinse off some of this excess dirt. So that's what I'm gonna do, do now. I'm gonna put the gun on this because I don't like that dirt to dry up and then it takes more work to rinse it. Well, here's my Honda power washer. Pretty strong one. It's about as strong as you can get, eight gallons a minute. And there's my gas tank. I got some bleach in there. I got a, what, a 200 gallon tank I keep filling with water. And uh, this is how I do it, just uh, fill that constantly up with water and uh, this is the driveway I'm doing but I'm gonna put the gun on this instead of the surface cleaner so I can rinse off what I did before it dries now when you're switching from the surface cleaner to the gun there is a way to avoid shutting off the machine what you do is you get this on off switch right here this on off valve and you hook it on the end of your pressure hose right here. I'll put that on there. Okay, now when I want to turn off, take off the gun and put on the surface cleaner after I rinse this debris off before it dries, uh, all I got to do 
is turn off the power right here. Turn off the water flow right here. Get a good shot of this. All I gotta do is take this just like this and turn that off. Then I can take off the gun and put on the surface cleaner and then uh, go back and forth without walking to the machine and shutting it off. So what I'm going to do is turn on the machine and then next time when I want to put the uh, surface cleaner back on there, I don't have to keep running back and forth. So that's that's a trick trick you, you got to do if you're in the pressure washing business. But it is, it is a great business to get into if you want to make money. I window wash, pressure wash, odd jobs. I was throwing shell today. I lay down sod. I paint a little bit. I, I stain... I, I actually seal driveways and roofs and I do it with silicone and I do it with uh, just driveway sealer. But uh, let me start this machine up. Don't need to choke. Here we go. I got a, got a tip there that's got four different strengths. So all I gotta do, check this, see if it's on. See it's already on. Now, I keep this in my pocket since it broke off, but I will just turn off the power when I want to switch, switch the gun. Now watch how I, how I rinse this off. I'll find the high point in the driveway, like right here, the halfway point, the high point, and I'll rinse down all the way out this way, and then I'll find the high point and just go that way and rinse down. That way, when I'm done with the driveway and the sidewalk, all this stuff here, this debris is not dried up back into the concrete. So I'll just do this for a while, show you how I rinse down. But it's satisfying work, pressure washing. Kind of like landscaping, painting satisfying to see the finished result. Here's the finished result. I don't even need to spray bleach there, but there you go. That's the finished result, and you see how black it is down there. I'm just going to continue rinsing here. I have another soft, soft tip that I can come by and rinse this, this area here at the very end, because you never want to leave anything dirtier than when you got there. You might be cleaning the driveway, but you don't want to leave the wall dirty that you're not cleaning because it stuff splashes over there. So you always got to do a light rinse at the end. That's what a good pressure washer does. At the very end, you make sure everything's perfect. Not just what you clean, but what you clean maybe splashed onto the wall and you got to clean that wall. Like over here, I would get a real light uh, tip and just rinse the wall down before I'm done. Just to make sure everything is clean before I leave. If you don't do that, the customer will not appreciate your work as much. May not call you back, but won't give you some great review because you didn't really. You see that? That's the difference right there. Now there's some stain. It's not going to come out. Oh, maybe somebody could get it out with some kind of rust remover, but I don't have any of that now. But, uh, look at this. That's the difference right there. But I just, just rinsing down now. Now I'm going to rinse down. This side's already been done, even though it's still pretty dirty. But I'm just going to rinse it down, spray a little bleach here and there at the very end, and this is done. But I'm in Sarasota, Florida, TrustJesusAlone.com, and Ace Window and Pressure Washing LLC. The reason why I don't use bleach at the very beginning, because it would decimate the flowers and the grass, and it would be too much bleach everywhere just to try to rush through a job and just bleach it. Nope. I don't do that because later on after you leave and get paid, 
it's a liability issue, but the customer may never call you again because you browned or ruined his vegetation. And I don't do that. I don't just do what a lot of these pressure washers do. Ah, just run bleach in everything. No, no, no. Don't do that because it will get everywhere and it will kill different uh, grass and, and uh, flowers and shrubs. So this takes a little work. Everything, I've been doing this for about 20 years. Everything requires practice. So never give up on a job. You may not know what to charge. You may not know how long it's gonna take. But I tell you what, everything takes time. It may take a year or two before you get a comfortable given estimate. But don't ever give up when you first start your business. Because you always want to quit because you're not perfect at this and you may not have given the right price. You think it's not going to work out. But just finish the job and learn from that job. And if you didn't make enough, well, charge more next time. Remember how big the job was. Remember to charge more next time. I try to make a certain hourly rate. And uh, through the years, I kind of know that a driveway like this here, and then the sidewalk, about the same length there, is going to take me about three hours. I'll charge about 300. And I'm in Sarasota, Florida. It's 2024, April. And that's about what I charge. Could be a little less, could be a little more, depending. But uh, I think it's a fair, a fair price. For me, for what I do, for my, you know, as far as what other people charge, probably somewhere in the middle. But you don't want to make, uh... but sometimes it takes, takes time to figure out what you should be charging. And uh, just give it time, folks. Compare what other people charge. Compare what, what, and then think about what do you need to make to make it. It all takes time to figure out. But never give up is my thing. Don't be, don't be a Craigslister. You get a pressure washer, and you just give up, and you sell it on Craigslist. Don't be a Craigslister. And uh, just get your customers. Get a Google Business account. They're free. Get a Facebook, they're free. Get some advertising on your truck, pass out cards. But you gotta get your customers. Some people get a machine and don't know how to get the customers so they end up selling it later on. But the idea is you gotta get your customers and keep them coming. Keep updating a website, adding pictures, get, get your reviews on Google Business. Make your free YouTube channel, free Google business, free Facebook, free Instagram. Get out there, pass out cards, talk to people, business to business, house to house, person to person. You might be shopping at Publix, but you could talk to people. Smile at them, give them a card, tell them what you do. Get your people. So many people got machines and trucks. And they do not go out and talk to people. You got to get out and meet people, talk to people, advertise, pass out flyers, cards, do the social media, especially the free stuff. And you will get your people. It's always a numbers game. Talk to enough people. And I like to preach while I'm working. I spread the word at the same time. I kill two birds with one stone. You know, I pass out gospel facts and business cards. I give an estimate and get the word out. But see, I'm just rinsing down now. Like I said, I don't want that, that clean sidewalk with the dirt on top of it. I don't want that dirt to dry and make it harder to rinse later. But you see the difference right there is the rest of that sidewalk. But then at the very end, when some of this water dries up here, I'll get a little tip a tip that doesn't have much water coming out of it, and I'll hit it like this. When all that water like a river is not there, you can rinse it like this a little bit, and it won't come back like that. That mud will not be there 
all that water won't be there so you can rinse that mud off and that's important to go back at the very end and do that because right now it's not going to work because i mean it will i can spray that a little bit into the grass another trick start spraying some of that water into the grass spray it down that way but right now there's so much water in the grass and everywhere it's just going to come back you got to get it at the end that's a little trick too go back at the very end i get calls every 10 minutes from these telemarketers i don't know if you heard that but I don't even answer anymore. I got ringtones for certain people. Every couple hours I'll check to see if it's a customer calling in. And uh, this is something I did yesterday. Good to go back and rent. Make sure you get everything here. You can get it with bleach later, lightly so you don't get it on the grass. But uh, I gotta, I gotta pull some more hose out to reach farther down here to rinse what I did yesterday.